guys welcome back to Enigma 77 reviews so today I thought I'd try my hat on <laughs> so guys I've had this hat for like two years like my husband bought it me from Spiral Direct and he said you know I know you love hats because I do actually love hats like beanie hats kind of thing and um I was like really excited I thought oh yeah I like that so I, I tried it on I know it was just like I don't know it makes me look like um and you might agree and you might laugh like condom head <laughs> it's like it makes my head look really weird so yeah um i think it's supposed to be like a bandana style of hat guys <laughs> so i'm not too sure if that suits me so guys let me know what you think of that um i really want to wear it because my husband's like you never wear it and i'm like oh, it just makes me look a bit weird like makes my head look like it's squashed together anyway guys Let's get on with what I was going to do. So today's a Killstar, yes, and it's based around Black Friday Killstar sale. Now I know everybody was going mad on this sale. They had a sale before Black Friday, which was, I think it was 50% off. And I was tempted to go and just grab then. And I thought, no, I'll hold on. And I don't know why I was holding on. I think in my head I thought maybe they will reduce everything a bit more, but they didn't. They didn't. So I did actually wait till midnight black friday and what i wanted had not been reduced further they had actually been reduced my hair looks all stuck up now they had actually been reduced anyway so i just thought you know what i'm just gonna get it so this was bought for christmas of my husband so as soon as i have tried these on he's whopping them away from me so with that said, I want to get on with the first thing that I got on the Black Friday sale. And um, this is actually not for me. This is for my grandson. But I can take it out of the bag now and wrap it up for him. And we've all seen this anyway. And I pay $13.99. Uh, usually retails at $19.99. How do I know that? Because I bought that one for his birthday. So I know that my grandson is obsessed with teddies. He's obsessed with like astrology, is it astrology? Not astrology, I don't know. He's obsessed with like the moon, the stars, space, stuff like that. Astrology, oh, I could be getting it wrong. But I said to my son, do you think he'd like this? And I showed him like Zach's duality and he said, oh, mum, he'd absolutely love that. And he'd like like Hydra and stuff. But I thought, do you know what? Because it's actually Teddy's, I ordered him the duality Teddy. And as you can see, it actually looks small. It does really look like a miniature version, but Zach loves his duality. Duality is actually his door um, holder, so he puts it at the door. Every night, a different teddy sits at Zach's door to protect him from the monsters, so he says. So duality sits at the door quite a lot because he said he's, the, he's like one of the best monsters scaring a monster so i don't know how my little boy's mind works but um i thought i'd get that for key and for 13.99 it was a real good price and i think they will have gone back to the normal price um it is actually cyber monday today so oh who knows so this is my massive delivery that came today it's kind of heavy um and it's it looks as if they've had a little bit of a ripping time because all the bag is torn at the front guys so i don't know if the postman's dropped it or it's been caught but let's have a look before my husband takes this off me to be honest with you everything that i showcased that's um kill star has been taken away from me and wrapped up that felt really weird that um i do like kill star guys but i think i'm going to be slowing down next year on certain um things like i've got lots of clothes so there's only so much clothes you can actually I have, if you know what I mean. I don't know what's happened to the black envelope, guys, that they were doing, but it seems the more you order, um, the less you get the envelope. Maybe they think there's only so many envelopes this person needs. I don't know. But, right, that's everything. That's an empty bag. I was going to put that there. I don't know anything about, like, the returns on Kilter. If I ever had to return anything, I never know how that works. Um... But I've not had any issues as far as I'm concerned up to now. I have had a couple of tops that have been too small, but I've sold them on and got my money back for them, so it's not been a problem. I'm going to do this one last. 
but put that one down here and just concentrate on these right so my husband said try and get yourself a whole outfit apart from shoes obviously because they are mega expensive um shoes will be coming from a different place so we'll do them at another time i think my husband is taking the shoes straight off me and wrapping them up so i don't know if i'll be able to do a review on them after christmas we'll see we'll see um as far as i know he said he wants to just take them and wrap them up he doesn't want me to see them until christmas day because he knows how much i really really want to open them Ooh, never mind let's let's get on with this so i ordered um an outfit pretty much an outfit barring the shoes and the underwear obviously so first one i got i've got the prices in front of me so that's not too bad and i think this is the um zara keyhole top now guys i bought bigger and the only reason i bought bigger is um i'm quite big chested and sometimes when i get an xl it does fit but I find it very, very like tight around the boob area. And as much as that's nice, um, sometimes comfort is more important to me than um, that whole figure hugging thing. I'm not really into figure hugging claws because I'm not a small, I'm not a small girl. So this is that top, guys. Let me just take the tissue out. So it is a plain black top. And it is very, very stretchy. See, I didn't realise it had been this giving. So there's definitely plenty of room in this. But another reason why I wanted it to be big is, as you can see, it's kind of opened. How does this top go? Oh, that way. Right. So it kind of goes round the neck here. So it's high necked here. And then it's opened here. I absolutely love that fact that that part, I mean... I would love to get here tattooed, guys, but my brother has said you probably wouldn't cope too well with it because um, it is very, very painful. So I take his word on things. So the label is a, a cat. Uh, there's no quote on it. It's just a cat label. But it's got the little um, little hoop hoops here. Another reason why I like this, guys, you might think I'm crazy, but um, next year I'm going to be buying more from Scarlet and Chains. And I just thought that this would look nice with a body harness maybe i could hook it to here somewhat like that and as you can see it, it is rather big i could have got away with just getting an xl guys to be completely honest but i just thought the bigger the better if i'm having one of them days where i feel a bit bloaty i can still wear this and feel all right i will do a try on guys at the end of the whole outfit so you get to see what it looks like so that was that guys and then we'll do that one last as well and then i grabbed some trousers now guys i find it real hard to spend 30 quid on a pair of leggings i just it just bugs me because i've always bought my leggings from like such places as marks and spencers and like river island and stuff because i really do like thick material i mean what i'm wearing at the minute is just like thermal leggings i've got like three pairs of thermal leggings they keep me, me warm my knees warm and stuff but these were a last minute pick i just thought oh go on do you know what i'll grab them and i only grabbed them because i've seen the model wearing the shoes that i've got and they actually did look really nice together but then i thought they'd look nice with any pair of shoes these would i'm being brave because i don't really like having my legs or any part of my leg on show um unless it's in a certain position where it looks nice and slim so i thought bugger it do you know what i'm just gonna grab them and you know what embrace who you are do you know what i mean no matter what size you are why should we have to worry about what people think at end of day i am me so i i could be any size it doesn't matter i'll still be me i'll still be the same person and i think i just need to stop worrying about what other people think and just be happy in my skin do you know what i mean you have one life you have one body look after it embrace it and enjoy it so yeah <laughs> i'm looking at these now going oh it i don't know i don't know but um i'm gonna be really brave putting these on for you guys i'm gonna feel really uncomfortable but i went for the <laughs> i went for these now in the picture it looked like she had like like tights on underneath so i could actually put a pair of tights on underneath i've got some thin denier ones that could look nice but as you can see, they're like, they're very, very strange. So 
I think it's like the pentagram sign that'll be actually on your leg. So you can't really tell by looking at them like that because it just looks like a pair of shorts, a bit of string and a bit of thing at the bottom. So you can't really tell what they look like. Now these, let me just grab my thing. So these are the um, Nevermind leggings. I got XXL again, because again, I have got a big ass. And um, I've had four children, so I do have excess kind of baggage in areas. Now this label is lovely, and it's a little coffin label. And as you can see, it is very, very giving, because they're elasticated. I didn't realize they were elasticated here. I love these. These are gonna look really nice together. now. I have literally just put this outfit together in my head thinking these will all look nice together. So if they don't look nice together, then damn, I got it wrong. So never mind. Right, I might as well show you this one first. So guys, I've been eyeing this up for the longest time and I've been like waiting till it came down a bit in price. I don't know why, because I just, I would have bought it if it didn't come down in price anyway. But I thought, I'll wait till it comes down in price. And then it did. It came down to £4.79. I thought, ah, that's mine. There's a lot of chokers that I've got in my basket at the minute that I want to complete. But I can only wear these chokers for so long because the fixtures that they have at the back, I don't know what, if they have pewter inside it, but they do actually give me allergic reaction. But, oh, look at this. So, guys, this is the Alina Skull one size choker oh, oh look at that guys you do know that i am obsessed with skulls it's like i just love them and there's a plastic on that at the minute so i'll take that off but look at the thickness of that um yeah it's way way blooming big for my neck that's that's a good thing it means i've lost a bit of weight because <laughs> i've not weighed myself i don't wear myself guys because i've been naughty this weekend with munchies but that is beautiful. Um, I do have a few chokers now from Killstar. Um, I do like their chokers. But I'll, obviously I've, I've noticed Scarlet and Chains and House of Bats and stuff. So next year I probably won't be ordering so much from Killstar. Um, I think I've ordered a lot that I like. I think I'm not going to be ordering any more shoes from Killstar. I'm going to keep to like my Demonias and stuff like that and my um, New Rocks. Because... I, if for the money that Killstar charge for these shoes, I could I could actually put a little bit extra to and get a pair of new rocks that can last for years and years and years. Oh, I can't get that plastic off it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've enjoyed buying what I've bought this year from Killstar, but I think next year I'll, I won't be as much. I'll probably buy the odd thing if it comes on sale and it's reasonable. But I won't go spending £40, £50 pound on a, a, a top or a jumper or anything like that. Just because, you know, when you're a mum, you keep telling you, you know, Zach's clothing comes before mine. And, you know, I could wear a, a ripped jumper for about four or five weeks before I decide to buy one. Just so Zach could have decent things. So that was that, guys. And then I grabbed this. Now, I absolutely love Killstar's like hoodies and jumpers. I think they're really, really thick material. So when I seen this, I had to have it. Had to, had to. There was no... My basket changed over the, the Black Friday period. It changed a lot because I kept going, yeah, I love that. And then I kept saying no. And then I kept putting it back. And in the end, I thought, you know what? I'm having it. I'm having it. And that is that. So I had it. So guys, this one is the Stella Luna cardigan. It was XXL again. And it was $23.99. Bearing in mind the leggings were £14.99, the choker was £4.79 and the top was £13.99. So I think all in all, they were all a really good price. Now, this is a cardigan, guys. So I thought with that outfit, I could wear this. So it's very, very long. It's not very thick. I can like see through and it, there's looks like some little stains on there just slight stains i don't know how long this has been in the warehouse for but this attracted me to it again i've got this thing about chains i could replace this and put a scarlet in chains thing there as well so i absolutely love this design and then the label is just the moon label obviously to match it and then this says 
There will always be someone who can't see your worth. Don't let it be you. Absolutely love that, guys. Absolutely love it. I love little quotations like that. So, guys, it is very, very long, as you can see. And the sleeves are just normal cuff sleeves, like normal cardigan cuff sleeves. They're not thumb ones or anything, but they do have this little moon on the cuff. And I just think, oh, it's cute. I do actually like my fingers to go. I've got a lot of jackets where my thumb goes through. This one isn't. This one is a Black Label Society. It does have Black Label Society on the back and a massive skull. I got this from EMP because I absolutely bought loads of clothes from EMP. It's probably where I bought all my clothes before I, I started buying from Killstar. But it's very, very heavy, guys. Very, very heavy. And it has a hood as well. Not too sure what kind of hood that is. But we will have a look at the end at the try-on. You can't really tell by looking at it like that. So that was my clothing, guys. So I got a top, got some leggings, I got a cardigan, and I got a choker. Obviously, I'm not doing the shoes. But... I had to, I just had to. So guys, let me just put it out there. I, I'm not a bag person. I don't collect bags. I'm not, a bag's a bag to me. I've always had like really cheap bags. Apart from like, I have had designer bags and I still have designer bags. I've got like Iron Fist bags upstairs and I had like Amstok bags upstairs. And I have like just skull bags and stuff that I found along the way. But Killstar have had some really quirky bags. And for that reason, I had to get this one. I think this might be my last bag that I buy for a bit now. So it comes in the, the bag, which keeps it nice and clean. Oh, it's well wrapped up this bag, guys. So as you can see, it's wrapped with polystyrene. Like really wrapped, wrapped really well. Oh my God, it's massive. <laughs> oh, good size of that, that is huge. So, um, <laughs> that is mint. I did wonder how that was. So guys, yes, I've completed my my set. There's only one more bag I need to grab and it's a spell book bag, which I know Killstar don't sell it anymore, but I have seen it on other sites. So I am going to go and get that after Christmas. And then I've got all four bags. Well, I've got five bags, so I've actually got another bag from Killstar. So it's got all this packaging inside. Let me just see if I can take that package. So it's a little bit misshapen, but my other bag was like that. My um, goth milk bag and my cereal bag. But I'm gonna put all them back in, guys, because I've got to give this to my husband. It is a massive size, guys. Like, look at that. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Inside it says, we are the weirdos, kill star. It's got the freshness inside there. And then it zips round, guys. I don't want to grab that straw too much because it looks very delicate. Um, maybe I should put the packaging back in for now till it's filled up. Right, let me put that in there and then let's just sip it up and see what it looks like if it was full. So guys, this was, I think it was 39, either 29.99, I think it was 29.99, not 39.99. But it was still expensive for a bag and I was like holding back like you do. And I ended up getting this for 23.99 and I thought it's still expensive for a bag, but I have I have thought to take 55 pounds for a bag, which was the Anne Stokes bags and they were way too heavy for my back. So I ended up selling them. But guys, look at it. It is, it's lovely. And then you've got this metal strap again and it just says creepycoffeekillstar.co. The only thing different about this is there's no like ingredient thing like the milk and that does. But I suppose it is actually a coffee cup. But how cute is that? It's massive, look, it's the size of my head. It's actually bigger than my head. So that's them guys, that's my kill star. That's what I've got for my Black Friday. I think I, it came to £81.75. There was actually a deal. If you spent over £80, you got 500 points back onto your thing i'm very very happy because now once i've had this and I've, I've not given any negative reviews i will have that going into my account i think all together then i've got like nearly um i've definitely got 10 pound off i'm going to try and work it to get 15 pound off and um, it's worth it it is worth it to get your points off because i i have bought a few things this year nevertheless um, and i have used clear pair to use this one was different this was paid in full but um let's go and try them on guys and see what they look like and um 
I'll give you a thumbs up at the end. So back in a jiffy, guys. Okay, guys, so this is the full outfit. Really not feeling the trousers, really not, but we'll come to that. So this is it as a whole. The bag is massive. Um, it's bulky. I'll, I'll just get used to the fact that it's bulky. I'm scared of like damaging the straw because it's very, very delicate. But um, it's huge. It's bigger than I thought. <coughs> right, so this is with the cardigan. Now, zipping it up, the zip is a little bit stiff. And I don't know if it's because it's an old stock or it's, it's new stock. I don't know. But as you can see, I, I'm struggling with the zip. Now, it's not caught on anything. It's just really hard to zip up. Like, can you see? Things like that really frustrate me. So it's very, very stiff. And I don't know if it's the material or it's the zip because it is quite close to the actual jumper. But if I just move this around and see if I can try it again. Again, it just sticks here, guys. But as you can see, it's sticking to the material because the material is so close to it. And if you pull down again, it's still sticking. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Let me see if I can try and do it without it. Right. You see, it sticks to the material. And that that gets on my nerves a little bit. Look, and it's doing it again there. You'd have to keep pulling it up and down for it to stop. But that's what it looks like zipped up. Bearing in mind if I didn't have the shortness of these, if I had like full leggings on, it is very, very long. You could wear it with a really nice black dress, to be honest with you. This clips off, so you can clip this off if you didn't want it on. And it'd just be a regular cardigan, to be honest with you guys. I've got cardigans like this upstairs that are plain black that I've bought from like Wallace and stuff that I used because I used to work in an office. But this is what it looks like. So to get this off, guys, you have to like unclip this. But I kind of like this design. But let me just show you. So it does just clip off like this. Like I said, you could have actually scarlet and chains, could actually custom make something for it to go on there. If I gave them the measurements of this chain and, and sent them what I did actually want uh, to put in there, I'm sure that they could actually do it. So it's interesting that. And it just clips back in like that, guys. It's very, very heavy. I'll put it back on again to see what it looks like with the hood. But this is the top. Um, I'm glad I got an XXL, but it's like got little marks on it. I don't know if that's... And then again here, you've got these clips here, which are great for hooking things to them. Like you could have a chain going along here as well. Possibility. I'm not so sure about the trousers, guys, because I have got big thighs, as you can see. Um, I do want the whole of my top legs tattooed because I just hate my legs. It's probably my worst feature is my legs hate it hate it hate it um in the picture it actually showed the girl wearing tights underneath this and i think i will probably do the same I wear like a really sheer kind of opaque tights i mean i'm not too bothered about not seeing my tattoo because you can't actually see the whole tattoo anyway i mean i'm going to be having a full leg tattoo down here of a wolf like a wolf scene to match that but um i'm not overly keen on the bare legged part so i probably would wear this with tights but the leggings are quite nice. I mean, I don't know what they look like from the back, but they feel comfortable enough. So I'm, they're comfortable, that's for sure. But like, I probably feel more comfortable wearing a cardigan because it's long, but you can still actually see the legs because it doesn't cover. It covers like slightly, but it doesn't cover it all. But I do love this chain effect. I love the whole moon thing there. As soon as I seen this, I was drawn to this part of the cardigan because without that, it's just a normal, regular cardigan. And then if I put the hood up, which I've not actually tried yet, I don't have hoods on my cardigans, but see if I can show you. 
the zip is actually sticking. I don't know if anybody else has had this problem with this cardigan. But it is so close, knitted to the zip. I mean, they really haven't thought that through, have they? I mean, no matter what I do, it's going to keep doing that. And I like to have my cardigan zipped up as well at the best of times because I get cold. But here, as soon as I sip it, it automatically gets stuck. Now I've got it all twisted now, actually. Let's see if I can try that again. Third time lucky, guys. What do we say? It's still actually sticking. Now it's actually stuck further up. Now that'll do my knot in. I think I might have to contact Killstar about that. But then as it goes further up, it actually doesn't do it. So it's just the material at the bottom. So I'm going to see if my mother-in-law can fix that for me because she does things like that. But here's what it looks like. I like it. And then obviously I've got three bags. I don't know, like, I'd probably take this out with me somewhere. I don't know where. But there you have it, guys. That is my Killstar outfit. Including the choker, which is mega, mega comfortable. I keep forgetting I've got a choker on. Super comfortable. Lots of room on this. It's it's big on my neck. I like it. Absolutely love it. Um, and just the cardigan, really. That, that zip part is doing my head in, but I'll figure it out. So there you go, guys. Tell me what you think. I don't like the pants without tights underneath it. I would have much preferred these as a whole because I kind of like the checkered thing. But um, I think next time I will stick to whole ones. I know they did have the suspender kind of clip ones. And I didn't get that because of the same reason. In the picture it actually shows these like with tights underneath. So I did think that they came with like material underneath. But never mind. Alright guys. Um, that is it. I'm going to go and put these away. Ta <laughs> Take care and see you in the next one. Bye for now.